Fell for Fell TV. I'm hanging a little bit today. Uh, bear with me. This is Umar Ahmed for Fell TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me is Mr. Big D himself, David Adelaide, weighing done, fight night ready and trainer Frank Greaves. Big step up this one. It is, it is, but uh, it's the game we're in, isn't it? So, well, with, with all due respect to like the opponents you've been getting in, I think Frank is fair to say that you know David could have had a couple of more of them and not been criticised about it because he's so early on in his career. But why are you fighting Kamal Sokolovsky now? Uh, if, if I'm honest, David's at a level that if you put them fighters in with him again, and no disrespect to the Dave Prestons of the world or the Danny Whitakers, if you put those type of fighters in front of him, he's going to blow for him in 90 seconds again. And there's just no point in that. Um, effectively, all that's going to get us is another two, 300 rounds of sparring, more fucking wear and tear on the body. We don't need that. He's, he's more than ready for this. We've had, we've sparred with multiple world champions over the last year. Um, you know, real good sparring, high quality sparring. David's been asked back multiple times by these world champions. It's clearly showing our level. Um, yeah, it's, 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 people are saying it's a step up. For me, it's not a step up, it's just part of the progression. It's, it's one of those, if you're, if you're a small hall fighter without a TV contract, it's a step up. If you've got ambitions to go and win world titles, it's just part of the journey, and that's all it is, it's just another fight. Okay. Do you view it like that as well, David? Yeah, exactly. Have always been a step up? I mean, obviously he's a step up, because he's better by, than my last opponents, but, um, I mean, it's, nothing, it's not a step up in reality because I've been there, done that, I've done it in the amateurs, I've done it in sparring, you know, um, nothing I haven't experienced. Mm. So uh, it's just another fight for me. Have you seen much of Camel? Not really, just, just, just uh, you know, his fights, he's, he's won, he's lost. Just watch on YouTube, to be fair, but I'm not, one, I'm not one to really study opponents because you can go in there and study them and on the fight that they can be com completely mm. different, so... Uh, mm. I don't really watch it. Okay, fair enough. Well, what are you expecting from him tomorrow night? I'm expecting him to bring it. He's probably going to uh, make me do a few rounds. Um, I mean, <laughs> I can do the rounds. Um, my fitness is there. So, uh, yeah, it's not really a problem. Do you want that to be the case as well, Frank? Do you want to actually see David in some rounds tomorrow? Uh, ideally, it'd be nice. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's a win-win-win situation. Right? So, we go in there. If we get a few rounds under our belt, Great. I mean, the fact is that David's had five fights so far, and we've barely completed seven rounds. So I haven't had much time to talk to him in between rounds. And that, that situation there, that, that, that minute that you get in between rounds, you can't really recreate that anywhere else. You know, you do it in sparring to a degree, but sparring's different. Um, so yeah, ideally, we, we want a few rounds, but... You know, if he goes out there and does him in a round or two, that's great. That makes a statement because no one, no one else has done that. Um, if we get six rounds out, that's great too. I, I've, I've got no sort of, I've got, a, I've got my own preconceived idea of how the fight goes, um, but I've got no preference either way. If we get the rounds in, great. If, if we knock him out early, that's great too. I don't know if you've seen because obviously you're just focusing on, on fight week, etc. But um, it's really gone down well on social media. Like people are. I'm praising you for, for taking this fight. I'm, I'm sure you've seen a few comments like that, David. Uh, yes and no. I've seen a few comments. At the same time, I'm not really looking at it because you know, social media, is social media, isn't it? So, uh, but yeah, I've seen a few things. My phone's been buzzing, but you know, as you see, I just left my phone. I don't really use it. I don't really go on it. So, hmm. yeah. Well, as I said, I think you could have easily had a couple of more fights like, like you have been doing, and, and not really been criticised for it. Um, however, like people like Nathan Gorman have said, David needs to box someone like a Kamal Sogolovsky. Actually, he named him. So the fact that you're doing that so soon after saying that, proving what you're all about. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, Nathan saying, that, I think Nathan just trying to say something to try and prolong the fight. Nathan seen me in the gym, mate, when nobody's there. And he seen me sparring. Do you know what I mean? So I don't really need to prove myself to him. You know, it's just about proving myself to everyone else. Um, but yeah. Like I said, it's not going to be nothing I haven't experienced before. You know, two men going in and going at it. You know, uh, if he had four hands, three hands, maybe I'd be worried, but just another man like me. Obviously, after your last performance, which was a short night of work, I spoke to you and, you know, we talked about Nathan, and then he went in there the other night, uh, the night straight after, and, and put on a really, really good display. Uh, what did you think about it? Good performance. Um, 
We wanted that fight with uh, Pavel Sal. We wanted a fight with him as well. He was going to take that. Um, just to show levels, but obviously you weren't available, so yeah. Frank, what did you think of it? Did you see much yeah, of yeah, the Yeah, I, I, I actually, uh, I was sitting ringside for it, I was as a cunt man on that show. Oh. So uh, so I sat literally ringside and watched it. Yeah, yeah, look, listen, all credit to him. Um, Sauer was pretty tough in terms of, not his punch resistance as such, but he kept getting up, um, kept swinging back. He went out there and done the job, looked good doing it. Um, you know, I mean, we didn't really learn anything about Nathan that we haven't seen before. He's got fast hands, puts his punches together well. Nice, stiff, solid jab. You know, it was, no, it was nothing new. Um, but obviously getting the guy out as early as he did and dropping him five times or whatever was a good performance. Um, yeah, again, as I say, look, it, it's, it's one of those for me with David, right? So, so I'm in the gym with him every day. I see him inspiring, see the people that we're sparring and what we're doing. And it's, it's a natural progression, as far as I'm concerned. This fight is a natural progression. I would happily go and box for the area title next time out, box for the English title by the end of the year, you know, box for the British early next year, go and beat the Pavel Sowers of this world. There's, there's countless Europeans that have got those kind of records. Um, so you go and get that 12 round experience. Which, again, this is, this is gonna be a good yardstick for where we're at right now, you know. If David's, if ultimately, if David's ambition was to go and fight for the Southern Area title, you probably don't fight Kamal Sokolowski right now. Mm -hmm. You can fight another two or three knockover jobs. You know, you can get to eight, nine, and over eight stoppages and go and fight for the area title and that's your world title. But that's not what we're in the game for. That's not what he's in the game for. Um, so yeah, it's just a natural progression, and, and and that's it. It's not to say that he's a step up. It's not to say we're taking him lightly because we're not. We don't take anyone lightly. They're big men with ten ounce gloves on. There's 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 no uh, there's no corners cut. There's there's no sort of uh, complacency. We know that he's going to be made to work harder than he's been been made to work so far by the opponents that he's been in with. But that's not an issue. We've done the rounds. We know we can do the rounds if needs be. And as I say, if he bangs him out early, it makes a statement. Simple. What do you think about Dave Allen potentially getting back in the mix? Credit to him, mate. Do you know what I mean? I'll say this song, yes, I'm not really... You know what it is, I'll be honest, I don't want to be the boxer that's calling everyone out at the beginning of my career. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time I do an interview, they ask about another fighter and stuff, and it's like, look, I've got my own sort of path, I'm going to follow my path, stay in my lane and do what I do. Um, because every time they do mention my lane, they'll be mentioning another fighter with me, or oh, David called out so-and-so, so... You know, look, credit to, to Alan, he's going to do what he's going to do, and, you know, if our paths collide, then so be it. I did ask because you made some comments earlier this week that went around like on email um, from, from Queensbury, so that's why I brought Dave Allen up. Yeah, no, they, they are... Uh, who asked me? Probably Dev, right? No, it was before that, it was last week. Mm. I got in, I had an interview, they said, I want to think of Dave Allen. I'm like, good fighter, like, you know. They said, would you fight him? I'm like, obviously, if his, if his name got put forward to me, I'll take it. But he said he's coming back to do four unders, or he's coming back to do six unders. I yeah. said, by the time he does, probably get offered to me, I'll be on eight and ten rounders. So it probably wouldn't happen. But if it did happen, I'd definitely take it. And the next thing you know, I'm so clickbait. The media's all talking about, oh, David Adley's called out so-and-so. So, I mean, look, it's, like I said, everything's experience, isn't it? Um, and I'm starting to learn now that, look, these people are going to bloody take words out of your mouth and try and put it a certain way for, for um, headlines. So, look, man, let David Adley do what he's doing. If his name gets put forward to me, I'll take it. Okay. Right. What do you think about the recent wins of um, Fabio Wardley and also Nick Webb stopping Eric Parker? Did you catch any of them? I watched it. Uh, both did what they had to do. I mean, look, the referee stopped both contests, so it's not really the fighters' fault or their job to do anything. They just got to do what they got to do. And both had a good performance. I heard they might be fighting each other now. Mm. That's a good fight. I'll be watching that fight. I think I'll think be more interesting. You ever going to give me a Joshua Fury prediction? Never. Not until I get yours. So what's yours? I'll tell you after. <laughs> no, 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 you see what I'm saying? What's your prediction? Actually, I want to know what your prediction is. David Adelaide, best of luck tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, appreciate your time, as nice always. Same to you, Frank. One oh. shout out. I just wanted to um, big up a man called Rupert. You know, um, always helping the community back to level grow and stuff. Um, supporting Grenfell, you know, um, justice for them. Oh, just before we go, actually, obviously BT put out a thing with you, Hamza Shiraz, Dennis McCann, 
Willie Hutchinson, and I don't want to forget someone. Who was the other one? Denzel Bentley. Denzel Bentley, obviously, but I ended up tomorrow night. But what we were... <laughs> You're fucking really. He said there's another one. I don't want to forget. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, being uh, pushed as, as Franks, you know, the, the people who are gonna who are gonna dominate uh, BT Sports. So it must have been nice to be included in that, David. Yeah, very nice. You know, just the beginning. Climb up the ladders, and uh, this is why we do what we do, isn't it? You know, to go all the way. So um, I'm grateful they see the talent in me, and uh, they just need to go out there and prove it. To be fair, Tommy Fury was in that as well. Oh yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah was he? Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Six of yeah. you. Yeah. 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 David, best of luck tomorrow night. Same with you, Frank, and uh, we'll talk after the fire. Right? Pleasure, man. Definitely. Nice one.